prefrontal cortex, along with other major parts of the brain, are smaller in children with ADHD than in those without. These different parts of the brain do not operate in isolation, but interact extensively to form networks controlling functions such as language, attention and movement. The activity of different networks increases and decreases to allow different functions to take place. For example, while you are watching this video, activity in networks involved in processing information will have typically increased, while activity in networks involved in mind wandering will have typically decreased. In a person with ADHD, the activity of these networks is impaired, and connections within the networks are disrupted. And when we look more closely at the communication between these networks, there is also disruption in the release of the chemicals, dopamine and noradrenaline, which are responsible for relaying messages between brain cells. Overall, when children with ADHD carry out particular tasks, some networks are not switched on enough, while others remain switched on too much. Research from around the world has shown widespread differences in the development and function of the brain in children with ADHD.